Hello, uh, let's solve this together. Albert says the two sets of equations shown below have the same solutions. Determine in a state uh, whether you agree with Albert and justify your answer. So let's solve these systems and compare them. Uh, in the first one, I want to eliminate um, the x values. So I'm going to multiply this first equation by one and a half. That will get me, um, sorry, one and a half times eight x, right? That's 12 x. One and a half times nine is nine plus four and a half with 13 and a half y. And one and a half times 48 is 48 plus 24, which is 72, right? And then we're, if we subtract the second equation from the first, we'll cancel out the x terms and we can solve for y. So that's going to give us, when we subtract it, zero plus 8.5y, right, 13 and a half minus five, equals 51. And if we divide both sides by 8.5, y is six. So here, I'm gonna notice, let's just try it out. What is negative 8.5 times six? Well, that's negative 51. So yes, uh, this so far is working. When y is six, it solves both equations here and also balances this equation in this system. If we plug it into the second one, we also need x first, let's find x. So if we go back, we know y is six, right? So 8x plus 9 times 6, I'm using the first equation here, equals 48. So that means 8x plus 54 equals 48. Subtract 54 from both sides, and 8x is negative 6. So that means x, if you divide both sides by 8, is negative 6 eighths, or negative 3 fourths, and that equals x. Okay, so does x also work here? So let's try it. 8 times negative 3 fourths plus 9, I'm using this equation here. And again, I'm just plugging in the x and y values because if this solution works for both equations here, I want to see if it works for both equations here. 9 times 6, y is 6, that should equal 48. So 8 times negative 3 fourths is negative 24 over 4, or negative 6, plus 54, that does equal 48, it works. So when you explain your answer, if you take this approach, you can solve both systems independently. Uh, you can say, I solved for x and y in the first system and plug those values into the second system and it balanced all of the equations so I know that both systems have the same solution. All right, thanks.